Well, the, the movie wasn't that good, but uh, the soundtrack is pretty damn fire. I will admit, that soundtrack was pretty damn fire. But <laughs> the, movie, the movie wasn't that good. I'm hurt, y'all. I'm hurt. But this is Twisters. Hey guys, it's your guy in the chair here, and look, this is my review for Twisters, starring Glenn Powell, Daisy Edgar Jones, or should I say, it's starring Daisy Edgar Jones, then Glenn Powell, and you'll see why later. But Daisy Edgar Jones, Glenn Powell, Anthony Ramos, David Cornsweat, and was directed by Lee Isaac Chung, and our story follows a young scientist by the name of Kate who, after a tragic incident dealing with a tornado in her life, basically five years later, she is brought back by one of her friends to once again, I'm going to call it tornado wrangling because it's way cooler than tornado chasing. She's brought back to wrangle some more tornadoes and help out with the situation where they believe they can disrupt a tornado and save people. And on her encounter in doing so, she runs into Glenn Powell's Tyler, I believe his character name is. And basically, she is taught a completely different method of how to wrangle tornadoes and their love will conquer all tornadoes across the land. At least that's what this movie ends up being. And look, like I said, for me personally, this movie just did not do what I wanted it to. And I, I really wanted this movie to be more out of the box, just completely unrealistic, bad shit, insane stuff going on with tornadoes, which in some cases it really is because they're getting really close to tornadoes and I'm not a tornado chaser, nor do I really look at deeply into this shit, but I'm not sure how closely you can get to a tornado, but I'm pretty sure some of the stuff that they were doing cannot be pulled off. So I guess in some ways it was unrealistic, but it just wasn't, it wasn't enough for me personally. And that's mainly due to the chunk of the story that does not have to do with the tornado stuff. Anything in this movie that has to do with the tornado wrangling, it, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. It's why you're here in the theater. But the majority of the story about Kate, played by Daisy Edgar Jones, trying to get over her tragedy, is really pulling down tra tragically and drastically what this movie is building up when it comes to, to, to comes to the tornado stuff. I mean, you can even tell when Glenn Powell's character comes into the movie, there's a shift. There's a complete shift. I'm talking musically, just tone, all of that. Glenn Powell completely comes in and the movie just turns into something way more exciting than what you're watching when Daisy Edgar Jones is the lead. And like I said, I was going to get to why I introduced the characters of or the actors of Daisy Edgar Jones and Glenn Powell the way I did in the beginning because the marketing would make you think, and forgive me if I'm wrong in seeing this, the marketing would make you think that Glenn Powell was the star of this movie, and that just wasn't it. The trailers, everything, everything sold Glenn Powell as being the main focal point of this movie, which would have been way more exciting, and that was honestly what I was expecting to see. Not that Daisy Edgar Jones is not a from phenomenal actor, because Normal People is something that everybody should watch, and she is tremendous in it, right, in, right next to Paul Mescal. Daisy Edgar Jones is amazing, but in this movie here, I just did not expect her to be the lead, and it's even crazy because they make a point in the movie to, they have this reporter character following Tyler at the beginning of the movie, and all of a sudden, he's like, towards the end of the movie, they're like, uh, yeah, I, I'm really here for her, like, it's her, it's her story, she's amazing, like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm more intrigued by her, like, they literally make it a point in the movie to go, yeah, I'm more interested in Daisy Edgar Jones than you, Glenn Powell, and I'm like, Okay, that's all right. So maybe you guys didn't know what you were doing by showing Glenn Powell as the main focal point in the trailers just to get us all in the seats, which congratulations, you pulled it off. But for me, the, the, the movie just did not work because the tone shift between what we saw going on with the tornadoes when Glenn Powell was in the movie, it was much more exciting in my opinion. I mean, it was cool when Daisy Edgar Jones was doing it, but it just wasn't to the intensity and the more entertainability that Glenn Powell just has when you're watching and doing the shit he's doing on screen. It's just it's just way more awesome and there's more life to it. 
When it comes to summer blockbusters, that's what this movie is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a summer blockbuster. Even if the story itself is not that entertaining, which they don't necessarily have to be. At least, like in for some instances, Transformers, like it's more out of this world. Like, you know, you don't have to, you can just turn your brain off and just watch complete dumb shit happen and be completely entertained because the characters are so interesting and the characters are so entertaining to watch. That's not going on here. The characters, a lot, majority of the characters are very boring. And Daisy Edgar Jones, while her character did have a lot of passion and she delivered a lot of her lines very well and on top of that, she was a good character. It was just as the lead she was really dragging down a lot of the exciting shit for me. And that, that part of the story just didn't work. And before I get to the, char the other characters, I want to talk about the love interest here. The, the chemistry between Daisy Edgar Jones and Glenn Powell for me personally did not work here at all. I was not sold. I did not like the banter, the back and forth that they had. The, she just did everything in her power to despise him. I did not find it cute whatsoever. It just didn't work for me. And I love love. But it was just, I feel like, I felt like watching this, it, I, it occurred to me that we were just spoiled by what him and Adrian Adjoinart did in Hitman. We were just spoiled by chemistry like that because it was just, it was glaring that it was just not the same. It was just not here. And Glenn Powell is the charming one. He was doing great. But Daisy Edgar Jones, it was just what she, her character was doing in response just did not, did not work for me at all. And that becomes a big part of this movie too because they become more intimate with each other and they become so interested in each other's mindsets towards tornadoes. And it's like, it's cool, but it's just Daisy Edgar Jones leading this dance is not working for me. That's, that's really what it is. And it's more so just the way that her character was written. I felt like her character was more written to be the side part in a movie like this. I mean, Glenn, I thought Glenn, pa Glenn Powell is going to be the main part of it, but I guess that's on me for thinking so. But to the rest of these characters... Anthony Ramos, and it disappoints me to say this because even in the most little roles, like, well, I, I think that's more, yeah, it was a little role in Dumb Money as a GameStop employee. Has Anthony Ramos completely just entertained me every time I've seen him on screen? This time, I was so sad by what his character was. He was the lackluster third guy in this little love triangle that really wasn't a love triangle at all. She had no interest in the dude whatsoever. He was in, oh, and I'm sorry if these are minor spoilers, but I was watching a love triangle basically have to be forced down my throat that I was just not interested in whatsoever. I wanted to get back to the tornadoes as fast as possible, and sometimes it just didn't come fast enough because this movie felt so long. I'm trying to figure, how long was this movie? Oh, this movie was two hours and two minutes. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, yeah, but it definitely felt like two hours and 20, but yeah, it, it, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, this movie felt very long because once you're watching the tornado stuff, you're just more engaged, you're more into it, you're more on the edge of your seat. When everything else is going on in the story, in the movie, or in the story in the movie, I'm just not interested in any of it whatsoever. And it just makes me sad because, like I said, I love Anthony Ramos, but him being the third wheel in this love triangle and being so like, not Anthony Ramos. And it did occur to me that midway through the film that the reason for Anthony Ramos's tone shift in character could be because of what happened in their past, which completely makes sense. But it was just like, for me, I wanted the more energetic Anthony Ramos, man, the one that just makes me laugh all the time and feel just want to be a part of the movie. And I just, he was such a Debbie Downer because he was just so in love with Daisy Edgar Jones. And I'm just like, dude, focus on the tornadoes or something like that. I don't know, do something else. But uh, it is what it is. But David Cornsweat, who is super skinny in this movie, right next to Katie O'Brien, who is super skinny in this movie. Uh, Katie O'Brien, who was in this year's Love Life Bleeding, which is now on HBO Max, which I'm not, you know, sponsored by them or anything, but I do have to advertise that that movie is on HBO Max. Go watch Love Life Bleeding because Katie O'Brien and Kirsten Stewart are amazing. Back to the movie, though. Um, <clears throat> David Cornsweat. And Katie O'Brien brought life to this movie. And the majority of the people in this movie that were watchable were a part of Glenn Powell's crew, which is why I keep saying, if this movie were to be based around or focused on Glenn Powell and his crew, it would have been a lot more interesting. Shout out to the actor who played Boone. I do not know. Brandon Pereira. Yeah. Phenom awesome. Boone was amazing. But like when you go to movies like this, 
you more so want to walk away with the high octane adrenaline of the tornado experience and you could say you watch some fun characters the only fun characters were mainly glenn powell's crew anthony ramos was disappointing he 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 did a good performance but he was just his character was disappointing in the sense of an entertaining entertaining aspect because i just kept it just kept hammering the love triangle and i'm like oh my god this is just not what i'm here for um yeah, majority of Glenn Powell's crew was interesting. Um, Daisy Edgar Jones was kind of a bore she, because she has a very tragic backstory and it just kept dragging down the movie, in my opinion. So anything that really had to do with Glenn, um, Daisy Edgar Jones's crew and the wide majority of... So they, they, had, they introduced so many different texts at once and none of them played a part in the rest of the movie. They were all just very vanilla and boring and it's like... Where'd the rest of these guys go? They introduced a whole group of dudes that was on Daisy Edgar Jones and Anthony Ramos' side. It was kind of like a square off between tornado wranglers. Daisy Edgar Jones and Anthony Ramos were on one side for like a corporation, and Glenn Powell was doing it for the love of YouTube and just, you know, doing it for the love of wrangling. You know, just doing, you know, tornado wrangling. But basically, you had this whole group of dudes that were introduced on Daisy Edgar Jones' side, and they no, nobody showed up again. I mean, of course, maybe they didn't have it in the budget, you know, play, pay them. All those guys, but I mean, at least some of them could have had some sort of personality. And that's what I felt this movie lacked: personality. Glenn Powell is and his crew had it, but most they don't focus on them very much because this is Daisy Edgar Jones's movie, and they make sure every point to do that. The reporter Ben, he was good too. He was very awesome. The reporter Ben was very funny. He was a very likable character. But again, that was all coming from Glenn Powell's side. There's a lot of focus on Daisy Edgar Jones' side. The tornado stuff is great. They didn't mess that up. It, it's, it's it's insane to watch. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's just for a two-hour and two-minute movie that felt like two hours and 20 minutes. There just is not enough of it. And honestly, I wanted the, the crazy stupidity just out of the box shit that I really wanted to happen more so happened towards the end of the movie. And I'm like, if that could have been the entire experience, that would have been great. But this whole romance between... Daisy Edgar Jones and Glenn Powell didn't work for me. The love triangle didn't work for me. There's an entire scene, and I love Mara Tyranny. She plays the mom. There's an entire scene or a sequence, because it was a it was a few clips, where she has to go home, regroup herself. She's with her mom. Glenn Powell comes, stays, stays with them. I'm just not into it at all because the ro the romance didn't work for me, so the mo the rest of the movie did not work for me. Anything that has that did not have to do with the tornadoes did not work for me at all, and I'm disappointed to say that. But at least I can say it is a decent movie. I mean, well, the tornado stuff is awesome, and it's and the tornado stuff is decent enough for me not to drag this movie through the mud because everything else. Just was lackluster. And honestly, overall, look, Twisters has the Twisters. The tornadoes are amazing. Those sequences are fun. On the edge of your seat, they got some great one-liners. We got twins! Twins! I can't necessarily yell because of you know, the echo. But on top of that, if you feel it, I said if you feel it. Yeah, yeah. But again, those all come from Glenn Powell's side, and that side just isn't focused on enough for me. And look, for all those reasons and so many more, guys, I'm going to give Twisters a 2.5 out of 5 stars. All right, guys, so Twisters, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Look, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff and so much more. Look, this is your guy in the chair. More content coming to you soon.